Hey guys, this is Spock Joe, and today I'm going to be talking about the pros and cons of SMGs in Infinite Warfare. At the end, I want to give you some tricks and tips on how to use SMGs better. And if you like this video, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. And with no further ado, let's get started. So the pros to the SMG class is one, they have a tighter hip fire spread. Two, they have a higher fire rate, generally speaking. And three, they're more mobile, especially whenever you're running and gunning. Now, when it comes to a tighter hip fire spread, that basically means that the bullets are clumping a little closer together when you're shooting from the hip. And when you come around a corner and you're in close quarters combat with an, an opponent, it's gonna allow you to hit the center mass a little bit easier. At range, it's gonna be just drawing a line around the person, but up close, SMGs really shine with the hip fire. Now, moving on, we've got the rate of fire, and the rate of fire really helps out for blitzing through enemies quickly, especially if you have a weapon that has a lot more ammo or anything like that, you're able to lock onto that person, shoot them very quickly, blitz through them, move on. The rate of fire just helps you kill a little bit quicker. Now, it comes down to mobility. And mobility, SMGs shine because they're a smaller weapon. You're able to move a little bit quicker with them. They do not have the penalty that LMGs or sniper rifles have, where you end up being a little bit clunky whenever you're running around. Uh, SMGs, they just move very, very fluently and quickly. Uh, you're able to strafe a little bit quicker when you're aiming down sight. And overall, you're able to sidestep your enemies a little bit easier with SMGs. Now, moving on, I find that SMGs have three cons. One, they tend to blitz through ammo very, very quickly. Two, they tend to have really high recoil. And three, they tend to be horrible at range. Now, when we're talking about blitzing through ammo, it basically just means that you're burning through your ammo so quickly because of the high fire rate that you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. And there's nothing worse than coming up against an opponent and you just ran out of ammo in your clip. You're trying to reload or anything like that and they end up taking you out. Now, the high recoil for these weapons, they always seem to veer up because of the high fire rate. They tend to have really high recoil, and sometimes the recoil is very sporadic. Uh, sometimes it's unpredictable, so whether it veers up, whether it veers to the side or whatever, sometimes it's not very predictable, and sometimes it can be hard to maintain the recoil without certain attachments. Now. The last thing is, is SMGs are just horrible at range. Unless you know some tricks and tips on how to better use an SMG for range, these weapons do not shine after around mid range. Now there's four tips that I wanna give you guys to use SMGs a little bit easier in the game. And first off, it might be obvious, but that is to use a foregrip. In this game, the SMG's recoil is really, really high. And a lot of times you're gonna be missing shots because of that high recoil. So when you put on a foregrip, it's gonna stabilize that recoil. It's gonna allow you to be more accurate with the weapon and you'll lose less gunfights in doing so. Secondly, I suggest you guys use particle lamp or long barrel because these weapons tend to have really poor performance when it comes to different ranges. Uh, when you put on particle amp or long barrel, it's gonna allow your weapon to perform better at mid to longer ranges. And when it comes to ARs and LMGs, those weapons shine at mid to longer ranges. This is just gonna help you become more competitive with those weapons. The third tip that I have is use extended mags or scavenger. In this game, you don't want to be caught with your pants down and not have ammo, especially when you're going into gunfights. You don't want to be sitting around trying to find a weapon on the ground, and you definitely don't want to be trying to figure out how to melee somebody when they're shooting at you. So I suggest using extended mags or scavenger to help you out with your ammo situation. A side note here is, when you use the Merc Combat Rig and you use the Man at Arms trait, it allows you to spawn in with max ammo, and that's gonna help you from the get-go to not have to worry about ammunition. Lastly, I suggest you guys learn how to tap fire. And for you veterans out there, you probably already know what tap firing is, but for those that don't, 
Tap firing is a very effective technique used, especially when using SMGs. And what it does is it allows you to be a little bit more accurate at longer ranges with the weapon. So what you do is you just aim down sight and you just tap your fire button and it sends out little bursts and it allows your gun to center a little bit more quickly and you can be accurate at longer ranges. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you next time.